Hello, and welcome to another Patreon mini-painting video. This week, my patrons suggested a league of their own, um, and I am painting the uh, final World Series game, um, and this is uh, the sisters, um, Lori Petty's character on the right and Gina Davis's character on the left on rival teams at this point in the movie. Um, this was, as I said, a request from one of you fine patrons. Thank you for suggesting this. It had been a while since I'd seen this movie, and I forgot just how lovely of a timepiece it is to, um, like, a slice of Americana that has been somewhat uh, forgotten about. Um, it's been nice to do something kind of in the style of uh, my favorite illustrators of the era, um, so similar outfits to some of the things that they would have painted. Um, right now I'm starting to work on Lori Petty, uh, specifically her belt, and I'm just going to start here in a moment going in and starting to work on details on her face, just kind of getting the um, honeybee logo there on her chest. Um, <clears throat> this was a fun piece to do. I kind of did a little bit of an overboard job on the background, which, as this painting continued, I realized that the more detail in the background would actually detract from these uh, fine uh, people in the foreground here. So I um, ended up being a little more expressionistic with the background, which I thought I would do somewhat anyway, um, but I went to even more extreme. So you can see now I'm starting to work on Lori Petty's face, starting to build up the slow values, uh, the shadows. She's uh, got a wonderful face, wonderful attitude in this movie, um, and you know, I always love getting likenesses right, and I thought that this likeness really did pull off this Lori, Lori Petty of the age. Um, <laughs> just watching myself paint. Um, Lori Petty's got a great face. Gina Davis has a great face. Uh, Lori Petty, I just knew I had to start when I worked on this piece. I had to go with Lori Petty first. That kind of determination and a slight fear on her face as she's coming up against her sister, um, as she's coming up to bat for the final, final batting of the World Series um, in typical sports movie fashion. Um, the one hit that will make the game. <laughs> um, going back in with some fine details in her face with lines, um, darkening lips, and the like like that. Um, and now I'm going to start working on Gina Davis. Her uh, costume is um, more of like a creamy peach, uh, very faded pink uh, almost. Um, so it's a contrast to that yellow of Lori Petty's um, uniform. Um, this is the second time I have painted Gina Davis, and the second time I have painted um, a catcher's pad chest piece uh, that she is wearing in this. I painted the chest piece before in the Mystery Men painting I did a few weeks, uh, a couple months ago, uh, with William H. Macy's character, the Shoveler. Um, and Gina Davis, of course, I painted once before during my Beetlejuice piece from earlier in this year. Um, just thought that was kind of fun that I'm um, already repeating some items and some people who uh, who I like to paint and who are obviously fans of these two fine actors um, wouldn't mind requesting. I don't expect it'll be long before there is a Tank Girl piece um, to uh, make my Lori Petty painting up to two as well. Uh, working on Gina Davis's face was uh, more difficult than Lori Petty's. Gina Davis, her face is full of straight lines and um, very, very strict, defined curves. Um, and approaching a likeness from that, especially with a uh, feminine face, um, is a little nerve-wracking to not go too overboard and make her look uh, more masculine or make the likeness look wrong. Um, pretty much though, I'm going in slowly and trying to just build up and find where those straight lines are and chisel her out of the paper, so to speak. <laughs> 
Um, at this point, I was thinking, oh no, I have darkened an eyebrow and have made her eyebrow just slightly too thick. Gina Davis has wonderful eyebrows, but that was a little bit too far. Um, but then I remembered that the um, people are uh, playing baseball, so they have dirt on them. So I was able to smudge that eyebrow and then go back over it um, with a different color uh, to make it appear as if she just had dirt on her brow, which I think actually added to the likeness. Um, so a happy accident of a smudge, um, fixing a mistake made perhaps the actual likeness work perfectly. Um, going on with some blushes, the dirt that I was uh, speaking of, that was just a clear colorless blender marker there uh, to just kind of smudge all the details. Um, going back in, of course, with my big pens, uh, still looking for some other colors. If anyone is feeling nice, uh, send me links to other colored Bic-like pens, uh, because they are a dream to use in these paintings, to just add that little crisp line of detail where I just have blocks of color. Um, let's see. <laughs> now I am still darkening some of the flesh tones and bringing up the um, values of the, pitcher's ma the catcher's mitt and her catcher's mask. Uh, kind of implying the baseball more in negative space than actually doing any shading on it. Um, just little bits of shadow slowly pulling Gina Davis off of that white plane. And now, strict contrast, the umpire behind in their black outfit. Uh, now I'm starting to go in with these detailed lines of uh, bands of color to uh, designate the crowd and at this point I was like okay it needs to look like a crowd what details do I need to put in there's a lot of faces so I started with the fleshy tone of uh, just the peach and then I started coloring in darker areas like fedora here a jacket here I went with three or four different kind of muted gray colors mostly cools uh, my um, ash rose reddish brown and some greens and I just started going in and darkening areas until it started to look like there was a crowd back there. I wasn't really going strictly with my sketch underneath, just kind of using it as a guide, but keeping the energy up. Uh, I think it turned out really well. Um, and in the end, it uh, was a fairly successful piece, if I do say so myself. Uh, so this was a movie I probably would not have picked myself. Uh, not that it is not a fine movie, but it's just not normally in my wheelhouse. So thank you for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for future mini, mini paintings, feel free to leave it in the comments below or on my Discord server. Um, thank you very much for becoming patrons and watching me every week. I really enjoy it. Um, until next time, thank you and enjoy this painting. <laughs>